My name is Harbans Lal Bardwaj. I'm a professor here uh, conducting the research with new crops. New crops means any crop that the farmers traditionally do not grow in Virginia. I've been here since uh, 1991 and evaluated probably 20, 25 different crops. A few of the notable crops have been canola, white lupin, uh, several food legumes uh, like uh, chickpea, faba bean, pigeon pea, mung bean, bunch of them. Uh, basically all my work is non-GMO. Uh, in India when, uh, when I was a growing boy and even into my adulthood, uh, I was 30, 31 years old when I came here, but mostly labor non-intensive. Everything we did was with hands or bullocks and uh, no machinery almost at that time. When it came here, it was an eye-opener for me that uh, everything is done by machines and hardly anything is done by by hand unless you have some migrant labor. Even in 1980s when we used to pick cotton, uh, it was some sort of machine that uh, we used for this and that. Uh, that was a big difference. And then uh, another big difference was uh, everybody here has a whole lot more quote-unquote acres as compared to back home. My father had 13 acres, four brothers, uh, him, and uh, we were considered a uh, fairly good-sized farm. But 13 acres here, even at that time, I mean, <laughs> nothing. Another thing I think sometimes that uh, you have a small acreage, you're more in tune with the crops that you're growing because you walk through them and, you know, as compared to you're growing 500 acres, 1,000 acres. You drive your tractor and essentially can't or don't talk to the to the plants in with the nature and that sort of thing. Or what I think. What I do helps people eat, and uh, on top of that, if I could make it uh, uh, make the food more nutritional and more palatable and more tasty, much better. So that I think. If I if I, <laughs> I don't want to psychoanalyze myself because I'm not qualified, but I think that's what's ingrained into my mind. That, and I'm also passionate about helping students. I still have students who come talk to me and uh, some conduct some research with me with my with my new crops. And I enjoy that. I I love interaction with the farmers. They are they are good people. Because farmer to farmer, they could talk better than I could talk to a farmer, even though I might know a little better, but uh, they accept more coming from their neighbor farmer or something. They say, yeah, sure. My intention always, uh, intentionally or I don't know, from the mind that uh, I will deal with a farmer and then let that farmer be a conduit to the other farmers and I think that works, that works best. Extending knowledge, changing lives is my purpose.